Good day, East Texas. Let's do big things together. I'm big on news, sports, entertainment, lifestyle, and community. And being intentional to me is about bringing a commitment and attention to topics, people, and facts to try to reflect what's most important. During March for Women's History Month, I'm conducting an interview series featuring remarkable women from East Texas and across the nation. And in this inaugural series, I'm talking with a fellow UT Tyler Patriot and East Texas native, Chelsea, um, Chesley Strother. Chesley, thank you so much for joining us today. So happy to get to talk with you and to have you here. How are you? Thanks for having me. I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Will you just start off by telling the community a little bit about who you are? Yeah, my name's Chesley uh, from White House, Texas. You can throw a stone, I think, from Tyler. <laughs> a little smaller town, but we always like to say we're from, from Tyler. More people understand um, that. Um, graduated high school in 2012. Um, went on to go to college at University of Texas at Tyler, where I pursued a soccer career there. Um, soccer took off for a few years, played, played professionally um, for about six years, and then retired and decided to, it was time for me to get my feet on the ground and uh, move into my professional life, which then led me here to Tampa where I'm working in the legal field. That's amazing. Well, congrats on playing six years. I mean, not a lot of people get to say that they went on to play professional sports. So congratulations and carrying that uh, Patriot torch a little bit um, forward for all of us. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Okay, so where all did you play? Um, so after college, I landed in the, at the Houston Dash um, in Houston. And then from there, I went to go play a year in Iceland, um, which was such a cool experience. Um, from there, two years in Sweden. And then from there, went to Utah, where um, I finished my career there. Yes, that's awesome that you got to travel so many places and play and meet so many people, which brings me to my next point. Like, I am so big on sports and enjoyed playing at UT Tyler and playing sports because the number one reason was the friends that I made and the lifelong bonds. But I mean, you know, team sports helps with your team building, communication, discipline, focus, all of these invaluable skills that we have are able to carry with us throughout our life. But would you agree that the friendships that you made um, while playing sports at all levels um, are one of the best parts about sports? Yeah, 100%. I think um, one reason I love soccer so much and I miss it to this day is just that team environment, that team atmosphere, because those are relationships that you know you take on with you for the rest of your life. Yeah, I agree. I wish I could just, uh, of course, I would love to go back and play because you know that feeling when you walk into the gym, it's like you feel wanted and even it's so exciting or, or on the field for you. Um, but I wish I could go back just to play like one more time with my buddies to ride on the bus to hear them laughing about the most ridiculous things like it was just like, so much fun. I wish I could go back one more one more day. So, OK, tell us about maybe a key moment in your athletic career that's helped shape you into the woman you are today. Yeah, I would say um, later in my college career, I, I really decided to buy in to um, the program and my role within the program, my role on the team. Um, and that included just me being a good teammate, really, and uh, leading leading by example. I would say I was a leader just on the field uh, based on my performance, but I also wanted to be a leader off the field. So that, that involved, you know, creating relationships with all my teammates, um, helping wherever I need with my teammates, especially. Yeah, no, that's great. And then and being a leader, and um, that means you had to communicate with your team. And so if you were to share some honest feedback with the community or with women about if they want to pursue a career in professional soccer, what advice would you give them? Yeah, you just, you just have to be an all around uh, player, a good teammate, uh, and be able to work hard on the field. Uh, that's a huge thing. I think somebody that doesn't work hard isn't gonna go very far. So um, just being able to work hard at your, your craft and getting better every day um, and ultimately making sacrifices to to improve that craft. So you're not gonna be do, doing things every day that you know kids your age are doing. So um, you know making those sacrifices really, is, it's gonna take you a long way. Yeah, and you, you mentioned um, just get better, getting better each day. And so I think um, that one of the most impactful uh, task that we can ever undertake is becoming our best self. So what um, would you say or how have you grown or stay true to yourself throughout the years and different careers? Yeah, the crazy thing about, you know, sports is that it translates 
to your everyday life. So, you know, I hold on to those things that I've, I gained playing sports and that's, you know, the work hard mentality. So going to work every day, um, how are you going to work hard to improve and get the job done? Um, being a good teammate translates. So, you know, being a good teammate to all my um, fellow coworkers is huge yeah. and just be able to learn every day. So um, how are you going to learn? Learn at your job, learn to improve. Uh, you're going to make mistakes, but how do you, how do you bounce back from those mistakes? Yep, I agree. Um, and so and being a good teammate is, is so important and just you can get so much further if you just join together and help push each other forward. So I appreciate you sharing that. Is there a, a woman in your life that you um, that helped shape you to who you are today? Yeah, that's tough. It's a tough yeah. question because so many. So many right? Like, I know. Right. You know, my family, of course, from the start was always there for me. So, you know, my mom's having to make sacrifices. Her weekends are spent taking me all around for my soccer game. So we were having to, you know, go out of town all the time. Same with my, my sister, you know, she was, I was the one having to travel and, you know, she was having to come with me because mom was there. So yeah. um, just mainly making sacrifices and obviously in the sports world, um, I would say my head coach, E.T. Tyler is a big, big person to uh, thanks for all my, my success, uh, Stephanie Webb. Yeah. She, she's still, you know, along, the ride with me today so you know i can call her any time of the day and she's she's going to be available so i think she's one of the biggest um women who has pushed me in my career yeah. yeah that's amazing thanks for pointing that out because i said you know um lifelong friendships you do um have the opportunity to build lifelong bonds with your coaches too and i know stephanie webb personally and obviously she was a coach whenever i was there playing volleyball and i just think the world of her and she is just an all-around great coach and human being and genuinely cares for for the student athletes and so thanks for thanks for bringing her up um so um wh why do you think women's history month is important yeah i think it uh it honors our, all those before us so um, it's celebrating everyone that's pushed the boundaries to get get us to where we are today. And even in today's world, there's there's women who are investing in women's sports and you know pushing those boundaries. We're already starting to catch up to the men, I would say. So um, just you know celebrating those powerful women. Yeah, and you mentioned pushing the boundaries. So how do you think we keep moving that equality ball forward? Yeah, I think um, it's just just women um, investing in women, you know? So um, women who are ready to push those boundaries. So uh, I give you an example, one of my good friends that, you know, I played high school soccer with, I was with her through my, a lot of my uh, soccer career. She just, Brittany Mahomes, I'll bring her up. She um, just built one of the first women's soccer stadiums um, in the world that was built for women's soccer. So that's, that's an example of, how we're just pushing the boundaries every day. And yeah. I think it's just gonna continue, continue to grow. Yeah, that's amazing that she did that. And um, that's awesome that you two have maintained um, y'all's friendship for so many years because you went to White House together, right? Yeah, definitely. Yep. yep. Okay, so is there anything else that I haven't asked you that you wanna share um, with the community about yourself? Uh, n nothing really about myself. Just um, I appreciate you having me on, and I think this is such a cool opportunity for you that you know you get to interview all these amazing women, and um, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to do this. And uh, I can't wait to uh, hear how it continues, and you know, hearing how the women keep uh, pushing the boundaries. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for saying that. It's interesting because you know I'm interviewing, and I feel like after I interview all of you, I feel like I could just go like conquer the right. world because you all are pouring into me and so it's amazing to get to learn so many different stories and just um, the different journeys and that people have gone through so you should be proud of yourself congrats again on um, playing at UT Tyler and going on for six years and now being in the um, legal field I hope that um, that takes off and and goes well for you as well thank you so much for your time and so everybody if you would uh, again this is Chesley Strother from White House Texas and joined us today for Women's History Month and so happy to share her story if you would drop me a line my email and social media is on the screen let me know if there are any other remarkable women that we should share their story or any other story stay tuned thank you thank you so much